happened? Uh, he's had a fit, quite a bad one. Yeah, he's had one before. He's been here before. Oh, uh, can you take him to Bay 3, please? The doctor will be here in a minute. I'm in the middle of a job, but I'll be right over. <sighs> that was the most terrifying thing I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, God, it seems suffer like that. You were really calm, though. You were brilliant. I was just useless. Well, it's shock, isn't it? You know, you don't know what to do, do you? And... Why does he keep having these fits? I don't know, I don't know. Chilli sauce. At some, not a gallon, you'll blow his head off. There you go. I can't do anything right. Not yet, but you will, once you've had a bit of training. Training? Yes, uh, me and Dave, well, we've been having a little chat. You mean you've been slagging me off? All right, yes, I know things didn't exactly get off to a dream start. You don't like me. You pick on me. When I came in this morning, you tutted. That's because you were half an hour late and you smelt of cider. Look, listen, I know that you're under a lot of pressure at home and I also know why you took the job and I think it's absolutely marvellous what you're doing for your family. Oh, thank you. Which is why I've decided to make you my project. It's only a kebab shop. Yes, but what we do, we do well. Are you up for that? Fine. Right, well, I'm going to start by training you how to slice a tomato. Joe, you know, I've had enough tomatoes already. We use firm tomatoes, right, which we slice longitudinally half an inch apart. Right. Yeah. Oh, do you know, this is... This is thirsty work, this is. You've only sliced a tomato. Cider. No. While we're working, devil go mad. Devil, no. True. Cheers. Cheers. Well, apart from before, he's always been a healthy, happy little boy until today. No other symptoms? Uh, well, the uh, nursery said that he might be a bit delayed. What are you mentioning that for? Well, it might be of some use. We're just clutching at straws here. When did this seizure start? Uh, well, a it's couple about... of... No, sorry, go on. Um, I went to check on him. He was asleep in his room and he, he was shaking. His whole body? Um, no, it was a, an arm and a leg to begin with. Yeah, 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 that's right. Are you sure about that? Why is that significant? It could be. Well, well then his whole body just... I'm going to need to do some blood tests and an EEG. And what are they for? As you say, this is the second time this has happened. I just want to try and find out if there's any underlying cause. Like what? It's too early to say. Look, try not to worry yourself too much at this stage. We're just trying to be thorough. Right, I'll go and sort out the EG and blood tests. Have you just been to court? How'd you get on? The judge was terrible. Really? She was denied bail. <gasps> they took her away. Oh, well, I suppose with Jeff being hospitalised, it's difficult. She's a victim of domestic abuse. There's no way that she'd hurt anyone unless she was provoked, and she was for months. I bet you wish she drank. An orange juice is fine. And a pint for me, please. Come out. You know, Imran made it quite clear that she's not a risk. She's a woman in her 60s, a pillar of the community. It's not like there were a couple of kids caught up in a brawl. So are you saying that um, things haven't been right between them for a while? Things have never been right with that creep. He's a lying, manipulative bully. Sean, you won't believe some of the stuff he's done. Like what? I tried to persuade my grand to break up with him because I knew that something like this would happen. Now it's too late and she's in prison. It's so wrong. Things that go on over the road, eh? You need to be careful what you say. You wouldn't blab him if Sean is. Anyway, you, you heard what Imran said about us needing unbiased witnesses. He said I shouldn't say anything to Grand's friends. I hope Sean does gossip. The more people who know the truth about Jeff, the better. Where's Oliver? Um, they've taken him for testes with Steve. Sorry, you didn't need to call. No, I wanted to. So, have they said what's wrong? Uh, no, but because he's had a seizure before, they've just been thorough. Poor lad. <sighs> he was shaking uncontrollably. Mm. Look, um, I 
At least one of us was there with him this time. Yeah. Although Steve's been brilliant, you know, I should never have been so hard on him. I totally freaked out. He was so calm. I'm the only rubbish parent around here. Oh, don't say that. Maybe we're causing it somehow, you know? You know, maybe we're doing something wrong. Like what? Well, I don't know. You don't just have a fit for no reason, do you? What if... What if it is his diet or... Or maybe his brain didn't develop properly as a baby? I don't know. Listen to me. Andy had a seizure when he was a baby. And the doctor said at the time it was because he'd had an ear infection. It was a one-off. Exactly. A one-off. This isn't a one-off, is it? These things happen to kids. Yeah. I just ate the thought that we... that I could have done something to stop it. Leanne, this is not your fault. Denied bail. Good news, eh? Yeah. Now you can focus on getting better. How are you feeling? Well, I'm not out of the woods yet, son, but I'm getting there. Right, well, I've got your magazine and Sally sent me some great. Thanks. So Imran tried to claim that she was old and frail, yeah. but not too old and frail to stab you in the neck and whack you over the head with a wine bottle, was she? Anyway, the judge wasn't buying any of it, so she's on remand. Imagine what it'd be like if they'd let her go. She'd be walking around larger than life after what she did. At least now you can go home and she won't be there. It won't be home, will it? Not anymore. Dad, she tried to kill you. She wants locking up for a very long time. I just feel so sad it's come to this. I still love her. Oh, don't pity her. She's not worth it. But the neighbours are having a field day. Who cares what the neighbours think? You're the victim of a vicious attack. This is Miss Ward, the uh, consultant. And who are the parents? At me. Me. My stepdad. I'm Katrina Ward. As you know, we are running a number of tests on Oliver, but we will get to the bottom of all this. Uh, I'm his grandma, Oliver's grandma. Steve is a twin, and something like this happened to his brother when he was little. And it turned out it worked because he had an ear infection. Oh, that would have been a febrile convulsion. They're, they're quite common. So you don't think it was one of those? Well, Oliver's had two of these seizures in the last month and his temperature is normal. What, so you think it could be something more serious? We're looking at a number of possibilities. Uh, can I ask you something? Of course. Do you think it might be epilepsy? My brother's got it and the seizures sound quite similar. Uh, we can't say at this stage. But it's possible? At this stage, we haven't ruled it out. <laughs> Yo, that's Ooh. your mum's house. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this clown? Oh, he's dead. What's he This week has no insurance. You have to explain why. David! Keep kidding. I'm not. He's fit. What, Dev? Yeah, I saw him checking out my whale tail tattoo. I thought, oh. You've got a whale tail tattoo. It symbolises safe passage when travelling by water. Oh, since when have you ever travelled by water? I lived on a canal boat. Anyway, what I'm saying is, I wouldn't chuck him out of bed for eating crackers. Hi, Matt. 
Oh, you are tall, aren't you? Aunt Gemma, nice that you were. We've just been doing a little bit of training with Bernie. It's gone really well. That's good. Yeah, yeah, as a matter of fact, uh, we're just popping off to see Dev now, are we? Yeah, yeah, we're going to um, talk over the sales forecasts and stuff like that. You'll be able to hold the fort, will you, Matt? Yeah, I suppose. Good lad. But we only need to keep him on the ward for a little while longer and then he'll be able to go home. We'll get in touch about the test results. If you'd excuse me. Nurse Bailey, can I have a word? Well, at least that's good news. They're not going to keep him in. He's going to be all right, Mum. Epilepsy, though. Well, she didn't say that, did she? Well, that's what she was thinking. Look, David leads a very full and active life. Well, it's still a serious condition, isn't it? There's no cure for it. Don't think there is. Wow. Well, I guess he wasn't diagnosed until he was an adult. So How old? 19. He collapsed at the wheel of Grand's car and they did tests and scans. So is it worse if you get it as a kid, then? Uh, I don't know. I mean, you'd have to ask the doctor. <sighs> yeah, well, she doesn't want to commit, does she? I'm sure when she knows, you'll know. What are you playing at, eh? I mean, things seem to be looking up. Alid's coping well with his hearing aids. Oh, God, love him. Oh, seeing him smile when he hears our voices. It is so lovely. Bless. It's all new to him, isn't it? And to her. Oh. Now, I think we underestimated how tough it would be on Gemma. You know she's on antidepressants now. I did, yeah. But they reckon she'll be back to her old self in a few months. Do you know, I just feel so bad that I didn't spot the signs sooner. I mean, anybody looking after four kids would struggle. We had no idea it was uh, postnatal depression. Oh, I feel if I'd have been here, I'd have spotted it sooner. Yes, well, you're more than making up for it now. I'm trying. Dev's filled me in. I think it's amazing that you were giving them all your wage. You've changed your tune. You were slagging me off earlier. Oh, were you listening in? Of course I was. <laughs> you didn't say out that wasn't true. <laughs> I'm going to ration myself to two kebabs a day. <laughs> Look, <clears throat> I'm sorry if we got off on the wrong foot. Too judgmental, that's my trouble. I'm the same. Yeah, I used to be able to read people like a book, but lately, you know, my radar's not firing on all cylinders. Really? Well, my best friend, she's been in an abusive relationship. I under my nose. Didn't have a clue. Well, I'm no better judge of character. How did I not spot that it was some dodge about, Kat? Because bad people sometimes are very convincing. Oh, I have had a long line of rubbish fellas. I, I make a move on Dev. You could be the next Mrs. Allahan. Then it'd be you. Bossing me around. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> yeah, but of all the places to go for a run, it is a war zone. Mm. If money were no object, I'd have a personal trainer, me. 200 quid running shoes, six months and have a six pack. <laughs> you can exercise without splashing the cash. Just do it somewhere safe. Right, fine. I won't go to that area again. All right? Not if I'm going to get chased by Scallies. I don't mind being chased by Scallies. <laughs> uh, you weren't even wearing running gear. Well, you have to have the right gear now, do you? Well, it can't be very comfortable, can it? Running in jeans and boots. Craig, it was a spur-of-the-moment thing. I was out for a walk. I found myself speeding up. It developed into a run. I mean, j just because you're a cop, you know, don't mean you can stick your nose into other people's business. Right, well, next time I see a gang of scallies chasing after you, should I just ignore it, then? One of those lads was a known drug dealer. Yeah, well, things have been a little bit tough lately. And I find exercise helps. It gets me out in the house. It gives me something to focus on that's not just the kids. OK, so please don't tell my family that you saw me. Why not? I don't want them to worry, obviously. All right, well, I'll keep stum if you agree not to do anything stupid again, yeah? If I was somebody else, I'd lie to you right now and I'd tell you that I'm going to stop. But I'm not somebody else. It's like my mum says, you know, they can't be that worried if they're going to let him out, me. Eh? Well, from what we've seen already, the seizures are pretty horrendous, whether it's epilepsy or not. Says here you can get migraines, absences. Yeah, David gets there. Sometimes he just zones out. You wave at him and he's lost consciousness and uh, then he comes out. <sighs> Do you know what? I'm going mad here. I'm sorry. 
I shouldn't have said anything. I freaked you out. Well, it does sound like it could be epilepsy, doesn't it? Yeah, and if it's epilepsy, it can be managed. Come on. Oh, uh, Doctor, are we, uh, are we ready to discharge? I'll go back to speak. I just want to run one more test before I send him home. But I thought we'd done all the tests for epilepsy. I have. So you're thinking it might be something else? As I said to his mum and dad, I, I can't speculate at this stage, but Oliver hasn't recovered as quickly as I would have hoped, and the description of his seizure sounded worrying. All right, so, um, so when, when do you think he can leave? About an hour or so. All right, thanks. Hiya, love. It's me. I'm still at work. I might be here for a bit longer. Oliver Battersby's been brought in with his family and they're really worried about them. And I, I just want to be here for them. Look, I shouldn't be much longer, but I'll drop you a text when I'm leaving. All right, love. Bye. Won't be much longer. Where have you been? For a walk. Where to? Birmingham? Mum, I finished work late. I went out. You missed the party. It wasn't really a party, was it? More a soiree. Me and my mum quaffed some very fine wine from Portugal. You weren't missed. I get cooped up in here sometimes, Mum, with the kids and just have to get out. Where are they? Lily's in bed, Max is at Marion's. Sorry. In the nick of time. Just open it. Card ain't gonna make up for it. Just read it, will you? You've crossed out Mother and put Gail. Thanks, Gail, for always being there for showing me such love and care. Thanks for all you've done and do. How I've turned out is down to you. It's true. Give over. All right, it was the last one in the shop. I'm not feeling very cheery anyway. Little Oliver was rushed off to hospital today. Really? He had another fit. I think it is epilepsy. Don't know. Nick went straight down to the hospital. They are bringing him home today, though. Right. Well, I'll ring him tomorrow. I'm going to bed. Mum. Happy birthday. Mortis is in decent nick. Why are you changing it? I lost my keys and there's been a spate of ergoies. I'm just a nervous person and I don't want anyone getting in here who shouldn't. Well, in that case, I can upgrade it for you. Not cheap. But it'll be like Fort Knox when I'm finished. Good. Keep all the scumbags out. Go on then, get cracking. Sure about this. Only, is quite a big statement, actually, changing the locks. I want to make a big statement. Go and live somewhere else, Jeff. Well, he might argue you're being unreasonable. He ruined Gran's life. He can't expect to just walk back in here to find his pipe and slippers waiting for him. I know, I know, I'm just, he's not the one in prison. And he'll just spin it, won't he? Like... He's a victim and this is his home. This was our house before she met him. Getting his feet under the table here was all part of his scheming. I'm just saying you might not take this lying down. He's an abusive ex. She owes him nothing. And when she gets out and starts rebuilding her life, I want her to have her house and her business here waiting for her. It's great she's got you. But she might not be coming home anytime soon. Jeff's acting all innocent now. I will make sure he gets what he deserves. Here we go. Home sweet home. 
put him straight to bed? Uh, no, he said he was thirsty in the car. I'll get him a drink. Just put him on the sofa. Uh, right, I'm going to go to bed. I'm All right. Good night, night Sai. Good night, little man. Night, love. Hey, uh, shall I get you one of those strawberry smoothies you like? It's all right, I'll get it. It's going to be like little Lord Fauntleroy. Oh, well, he was always spoilt long before he was poorly. It's a strawberry smoothie. It's hardly a trip to Alton Towers, is it? Hey, if that's what he wants, that's what you can have. I think he needs a good night's sleep. Mm, I don't know how he feels. I just hate leaving him, that's all. You can stay here if you want. Yeah, you can sleep on the sofa. Really? Yeah, of course you can. Well, that's a great idea because I can keep an eye on him through the night and you guys can get a proper night's sleep. You know, we really are back on good terms. Well, something like this puts everything into perspective, doesn't it? You know, I mean, he's got four amazing parents, super grand, <laughs> and whatever is wrong with him, he's got a loving family to get him through it all. Whatever you're doing tonight, make sure it involves the sofa and who wants to be a millionaire. That's later here at nine. And the family get involved in some local Bollywood dancing in absolutely India Manx in Mumbai right here next. <laughs> 